Hello. I was just out here doing some work. And, uh, start tuning in to the light on the cattails and the cattails. There's a little somebody's scratch or biting mark here on the tree. Could have been a beaver. Can't quite tell. Cattails. Actually, at the root of the, you can see this uh, tree growth. It's, uh, Okay, great birch in the distance there. So cattails, which I guess we probably all know, get these fuzzy seed heads and float. There's a uh, trunk that's come down here. And See the mushrooms. Uh, Showing up rather fast. Anyway, cattails, uh, the term Zafu, you know, that, uh, so I'll turn the camera, that little, uh, round cushion for seated meditation. It was originally stuffed with cattails. Ooh. You can see this one starting to uh, kind of fluff. And so uh, the cattails tend to make me think of sitting. Uh, you know, of course, the Zapu. I'd make my meditation, you know, not just these inosculations that we're seeing on the various trees here, it's sort of just the process of finding a seat, there's, you know, a thousand million billion options here. Here, slippery ground. Two bulbs just planted. Some more very fuzzies here. Some more bulbs just recently planted. Some more bulbs, some Spanish sword which may not exactly be the right term for these plants. There's a lily here, yellowing, beside the bamboo. There's the bamboo. It's in the labyrinth, just here. So, kind of come to the start of the meadow, and there's our Head. And so my process here is going to be to find a seat. How do I find a seat? Well, it starts with seeing if there's some willingness in me to do that, some intent. You know, the willingness may lead to the intent. And then it becomes a kind of opening up to, you know, the space that I'm in. You know, for example, I just saw these interesting seed heads on this little spiked thing. It was kind of laying down relatively flat. 
but it's uh, very soft and, and drying. I don't know what we have, what kind of flower this may have been. I'm really kind of opening up to having opened up to the idea and then catalyze the intention. I'm kind of opening up to the space, which of course means the space of possibilities to sit. But what I don't want to do is open that um, just up into the exterior space. I'm going to open up to the space within so it doesn't feel like this sort of triangle pointing from my mind or heart. You know, the mind or heart being the peak and then the, the triangle, the two arms reaching out to a wide base, you know, the external reality. I want to kind of feel like that. is coincident with another triangle. So that the base is my heart, my mind. And so while I'm opening myself to, there's some more inosculation here. I'm opening myself to sitting both within and without and so at the moment I'm just kind of wandering sort of taking in noticing naming appreciating uh, perhaps helping you know like that little flower head and we lift it up I say perhaps helping because it's my intention to help, but don't know the effect. This state is about the intention. So now I'm in this little slightly mossier and more fern filled area, so I'm thinking about sitting on the moss. And I'm still beside the cattails. I'm noticing a big smile on the ground. And uh, I think that's where I'm going to sit. So maybe I'll set this up so that you can perhaps see me and I'll take the seat. I have an idea. I'll lean it up against this cattail. No idea if I'm in the frame or not when I step away, but here we are nevertheless. Okay. I've kind of found the place and I want to see if I can reconcile or recognize uh, how the place that I'm in physically and the place I'm in here are different and or the same. To the extent they're not the same, I want to reconcile them so that I'm coming into harmony with the space that I'm in. So to reconcile them may look like a physical thing where I move this one acorn out from underneath my leg that's hurting, but it could also mean making an adjustment here to come into harmony with this space. And it's from here that I'd like to bear, I just realized I should maybe speak up, it's 10 feet away, but it's from here that I like to bear, as in a child, the, the intention. So the intention of this sit will be born of the reconciled inner and outer, the relatively harmonious interlinking, interlinking of this space and this space, or this space, both. So now I'm just staying tuned into both, working on reconciling them, and again, opening myself to an intention for this sit. It might be to practice a certain breathing or practice a meditation I've learned 
it might be to sit with intention for somebody I know that uh, I'd like to offer my sort of dedicate my efforts to perhaps somebody that's in some sort of struggle recognize it's possible you can just see the top of my head. I have no idea how well the camera's aimed. It might be aimed better over there. But I can see the sun behind a tree, and a black locust tree, and a birch, and a blue spruce, and a maple, and a juniper, and a cedar. It's a Russian olive. As I sit here, It was nice sitting in a smile. I'll probably come back and do this in a bit, but I don't think I want to risk your severe boredom. But I like to bow to the space. I like to bow to the space of the meditation from the space. Uh, sorry about that, almost dropped the phone. I like to bow to the space of the meditation, sort of from the space of the meditation. Again, sort of honoring my attempted reconciliation. But uh, that was a Zafu cocktail inspired sit. So I think I'll repeat for a juicier bit of time. I'm just going to walk them back to where my work had been left off. And I figure I'll take you with me. So. Okay, well thank you all very much. I expect we'll do this again tomorrow.